Welcome back to How to Write a College Level Lab Report. In part three, we will discuss the methods and results section of your lab reports. The methods section can and should be written prior to running the experiment or project. In this way, you will know what equipment to use once in the lab and can spend the most amount of time setting up and running the lab. The goal of a methods section is to provide enough detail so that any other person could repeat the lab. The procedure is step-by-step -step directions on how to run the experiment. In fact, sometimes a professor will ask you to write the procedure with its own section heading because it is so important. Think of the procedure as a recipe. A recipe exists so that lots of bakers across the globe can follow the steps and get the same outcome. This is the same idea as your procedure. On a technical note, remember to use full sentences. There are generally two formats for writing the procedure, numerical and paragraph. Here is an example of the numerical format. The procedure is written in full sentences, and each step is written in order of how the experiment ought to be done. Notice the details, measurements, and settings included so that every single step, every question that someone else might have about running this lab is answered. This slide illustrates a procedure written in the paragraph format. When using the paragraph format, you will need to use sequence words in your sentences. On the left-hand side of your screen, you can see a sample of some of those sequence words. You've all heard of first, second, and third to show the order of events. You might also want to play around with then, next, after, or subsequently, showing what steps occur after. If you have steps that are occurring at the same time, you may use the words meanwhile or during. And then to signify your last steps, you may use the words finally, in the end, or lastly. On the right hand side of the screen, I provided a student sample of a procedure written in paragraph format. In orange, I have highlighted this student's use of sequence words. Remember, you can use either the numerical or paragraph format, but both do use full sentences. Beyond the procedure, you may be asked to list the materials used separately. This slide provides an example of what that might look like. Take a moment to read over this sample. Notice the writer included the name of the tool or equipment used and the purpose in using it. The results section of your written lab is written after you've completed the experiment. It is written in full sentences and paragraph format, although it may also contain data tables and images depending on the course you're writing the lab report for. For example, you might include an image of a machine for engineering, a data table for biology, or a graph for a math lab. But the most important elements to include in your results sections are those that answer the questions why, how, and where. Why was the experiment performed? How were the results obtained? And where can we see the results? Here is an example to show what you might put in the results section. Here I have color coded the responses to why, how, and where in the student response. Please take time to pause the video to review. Here is an example of a table and image that might be included in a results section. Of course, you may be asked to plot a graph or model in your results section. Make sure to consult with your professor for the preferred format of your results section. This concludes video three. Please tune in for the next video, number four, on the important elements of the data analysis, discussion, and references section of a college level lab report.